Now we're gonna do another video with some more infinity scarves that I forgot to bring out for different reasons. I want you to see some other variations that Bruce wears as infinity scarves to keep him warm in the summer. Like I said before, he, he only has hair. He doesn't have fur. There's no undercoat that grows on him. So he's constantly cold in the fall, winter, and spring, and even sometimes on cold winter nights. Here's one similar to what I've shown in the past, um, but it's the same on both sides. It's a cable net. Um, so I usually put the cable on the outside like that. And like I said, some of them spin twice, and some of, some of them spin three times. So that one is three times. Sometimes you gotta spread them out a little bit after you put them on, and you can see, he likes it, keeps him warm, and then he's set to go on his whatever we're gonna do next. This one I wanted to show you because I actually bought it and it had all of these snags in it. I even buy some with holes if they're super discounted. Sometimes you'll see them for a dollar or sometimes you'll see your friends will have some that they're not using. But once you put it on them and kind of tuck in, tuck in the snags, it just looks like any other scarf. Um, so it doesn't matter if it's snagged or has holes because it's gonna get worn by a dog and you know, sometimes they get a little rough in them. So if you see a cheap one that you think is gonna fit, you know, you gotta eye it out for size. You know, this one obviously is smaller. Fortunately, it has some stretch. So you can use a, a double loop or a triple loop. Here's another one I got that has, similar to one I shown before, which has a lot of contrast in the loop. So you can spin it after it's on him to give you vari variations of the same scarf. So this way it's a little more light blue. This way, you know, you have his dark blues and greens. So this one is, is big, so it actually almost could be spun four times, but I think that would be too tight. So you just kind of loosen up the, try to make them a little more even so they can, so it holds on more tightly on his neck. Here's another great scarf for him because it's got some really nice contrasting colors to his coat and it's um, got some different textures in the actual knit of the yarns. And so this one also will wrap three times. And you can see this one as well, you can spin around his neck and can make it look much different than, I really like this sparkly because it really accents what's going on there. It looks good with the gray and the pink, um, but it looks really good in that. <laughs> and he actually likes it. That's what he looks like when he likes a scarf. So here's another one that I thought was interesting because it has fringe on it. So the fringe gives him kind of a some movement when he's walking. So it bounces around, it's like a, a lion's mane. So he really likes that one. <laughs> Don't you Bruce, you love that scarf. So, and then the last one I wanted to show you is a buffalo plaid. This one was also purchased at a thrift store in New York City and it came from his Aunt Carrie. So this one also loops three times around him. And since Bruce is a hunting dog, this one makes really good sense because it's got a nice bright red color and contrasting with the black, it looks really good on his coat. So that one you can tell he's really happy on. So again, let me see if I can get him to stay two seconds while I shut off the camera, but that doesn't always work. So those are some more ideas for you with Infinity Scars. So just keep your eyes out for different ones, inexpensive ones, ones that your friends are getting rid of, and um, try them on your dog before you throw them out or give them to Goodwill. All right, thanks.